Hello, I am a CA Service Management Administrator and today I will show you how to create a domain using the Jasper Reports server. A domain is a metadata layer that provides a business view of the data access through a data source. CA Service Management provides out-of-the-box domains for incident, request, change, problem, and configuration management and survey. Additional domains can be created to cater to business needs. A new domain can be created by following the steps demoed in the video. Jasper admin users of Chasm Insights organization or super users have the rights or permission to create and edit a domain. Now let's proceed with creating a domain. Name your domain. While providing the organization or resource ID, ensure that the ID is prefixed with letters E to avoid overwriting of the domains while importing your Jasper reports from previous releases of CA Service Management. The save location or the destination folder is recommended to be under chasm underscore insights, transactional, domains. Select data source under the same location, transactional domains. Select Create with Domain Designer. Select CASD as Database Schema. This will be exposed through the JDBC driver. Now, let us select the objects on which we want to make our reports on. For example, I will select Change, and Change Log. In Jasper Reports Server, ensure that both your tables are under a join tree. Let's select Joins and make a join between the left and right tables. Figure out, what you want to make your joins on. For the change object, you may have ID as the primary key of the table. The corresponding key will be available as change ID under the change log table in the right table. The inner joins will get activated. You can see the inner join, left outer join, right outer join and a full outer join. CA Service Management supports inner, left outer and right outer joins from the JDBC driver. For this demonstration, I will do a left join. Click the Display tab. You can see that both objects are under one join tree. You can pull in the attributes you want under the change object and the corresponding analyst under the change log object. You can have sets under which you can place these attributes. You can edit and give them the required description. Now, if I want to create some derived tables, I can do so. You can create derived tables not only under the available objects but under any objects that are available under tables. So now you have all the attributes under the incident object. Click on Run Query. If the query is successful, you will see a list of columns. Enter a unique query ID and select required columns from the list. Define joins to this derived table under the Joins tab. In calculated fields, you can do a sum total of a specific attribute. For example, change reference numbers, you may want to perform a count of all the changes that exist in your system. Let's select the reference number which is stored as change reference number. Let's do a count and provide the field name as total change. This will be stored under the same table on which the attribute was used. So, here we have total change. You can pull this to sets and items box and edit, if needed. You can also give pre-filters to the tables as well, which means that you can define an additional filter, on top of an ad hoc view. This is a domain level filter as shown in this demo.
I want to see the incidents that are active. I will provide the value as 1. So, this is how you can create a domain. Now you can use this domain to create ad hoc views and reports. Domains are stored in Jasper Reports repositories. Thank you for watching this video. Out of the box domains provided with CA Service Management help CASDM administrators to analyze transactional and aggregate data. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.